And here comes Michel. I think he must have thought it was half time. Maybe they have half time in Dubai after the second chucker. All right. We're waiting for Dave Markell. The chucker's about to start. The clock goes. In comes the ball. Charlie Bullis was in defense for the yellows in his goal mouth. But Sam Shaw comes away with the ball. He sends it underneath Dave Bullis, though, and Dave gets the backhand, but he sends it straight at Charlie Bullis, and he meets it. Can Charlie start the attack or keep the attack going, rather? He's getting up forward now. He's going to try and get by his dad. Peter Freeman trying to get it. Oh, look at that shot. He's put it right in front of the goal. Surely they can score. They do. The Yellows take the lead for the first time today. The young uns outpacing the old ones. And... Uh, Jonathan Willans, third goal, a hat-trick of goals for Jonathan already. Well, he is playing number one, so he is the attacking player, and he's in position. And in comes the ball, and the young one straight on it again with Charlie Bullis trying to go under the neck, and Jonathan Willans tries, and now Sam Shaw. They've had a great team effort they're all backing each other up following each other around now Sam is going to try and turn the ball himself he's looking around Minnie's coming in behind him just in case Sam just tapping the ball around how far can he go Jimmy DeAngelis over there trying to get to him he leaves it for Minnie backing him up Minnie puts it right into the middle and it's cleared away by Peter Freeman and Jimmy DeAngelis coming through quickly onto it but he's hooked out of it by Charlie Bullis and now we've got Michelle Nasir puts it forward Charlie Bullis backs it into the middle who turns quickest? Dave Bullis. Dave Bullis taps it across the middle of the field. He's going to try and turn up now with a cut shot. There's the cut shot. Charlie Bullis going to take his dad out of the way, but Jimmy DeAngelis was onto it very quickly. Jimmy at speed. He's just come off his cane, so it didn't go in the direction he wanted, but he backs it in towards the middle. It comes off Sam Shaw's pony, so it'll just be a hit in to young Newport. And it looks like Sam Shaw will go back there to take it to number four. Now he's looking, he's having a ch quick chat with Charlie. They're having a little tactical talk and Sam taps it, taps it. He's going towards Dave Bullis. Sam now trying to get a bigger shot. It's right in front of Minnie. Good looking pass. Michelle rides Minnie out though. Michelle gets it. Michelle gets the backhand. Jonathan Willen going back for young Newport. Tries to back it up the field. He does. Now Charlie Bullis with Peter Freeman. Charlie Bullis needs to get another shot. He's tapping it. He's tapping it. Can he get any further? He's tapped it again. Taps it again. Oh, and it just comes off the cane and bounces over the boards. So we'll wait for the umpire, Dave Markell, to come over. And the teams will line up in front of him. And we'll get the chucker, the game, underway again. And we just got Charlie Bullis off his horse for a second. Now he's back on. And umpire Dave Markell waits for them to line up in front of him. He's got the ball ready. The team's looking ready. In it comes. Bounces off Dave Bullis very quickly. Michelle can't get to it. Dave Bullis gets back to his own pass. Jonathan Willen going back with him. Jonathan Willen just rides him out of the play. Now gets the cut backhander. It was a good one. Who turns first? Charlie Bullis turns quickest. Peter Freeman trying to hook him. Charlie gets away from him. He just needs a little half shot to put it through the goal. There he goes with it. And it's on target. It's looking good. Has it got the legs? Yes, it just gets over the line. Charlie Bullis. Puts young Newport into a bit of a commanding lead of two goals. Five goals to three now. And the teams will come back to the middle. Change ends. In it comes. Who gets out with it? Oh, look, the young ones again. They really are showing up, the old ones at the moment. Jonathan Willem playing great game. Leaves it for Charlie Bullis. Charlie Bullis under the neck on the near side. It's running towards goal. Dave Bullis gets there just in time to clear it away from the goal mouth for Newport. Now can he bring it up the field? He sends it towards the middle. Charlie Bullis gets to it. Michelle Nasir gets to it. Michelle hits a couple of great shots. Charlie Bullis going with him. Hooks the stick. Young uh, old, old Bullis gets a touch on it. Minnie and Jimmy DeAngelis. Jimmy goes for the big shot. Doesn't quite get what he wanted. Michelle's there to keep it going forward for Newport. But it runs into Charlie Bullis. 
Called off it by Sam Shaw. Sam sends a good strong shot up over the halfway line. Sam galloping through for the young ones. Just straightens it up. Who's on to it first? Jonathan Willen. Can he score again? Jonathan sends the ball towards goal, but he's just not got the direction. It had the legs. It's out wide. Hit into the Reds of Newport. Wow, this game really did come to life in the second part of that second chucker, and they've continued it on in this third chucker. Two minutes to go. Hardly notice this chucker at all. Hopefully the rest of it will be full on. Here comes Jimmy DeAngelis. Jimmy sends the ball up the middle, trying to find Michelle. Doesn't quite get the direction towards Michelle. Charlie Bullis for the young ones. Backs it. Jimmy just gets a touch on it. Peter Freeman coming through now for Newport. Peter gets another shot. Charlie Bullis just gets in there with a touch with the cane. Well, a nice play by Charlie. Passes it to Sam Shaw. Sam on the attack for the young ones. Sam, he's got to do a big under the net. Can he? Yes, he can. But Jimmy takes him out. Who's backing him up? Young uh, Jonathan Willen. Jonathan Willen scores with a near side forehand shot. And the young ones, six goals to three now. So these horses, uh, well, you have a left-hand side and a right-hand side. The near side is the left, the off side is the right. A bit like in sailing where you have a starboard and port. Polo has to have its starboard and port, and it's called the off side and the near side. The near side being the left-hand side. In comes the ball as the young ones just continue relentlessly now attacking the old fellas. And Sam Shaw coming through the back. Sam gets a tap. He's going to overrun it. Peter Freeman back there to try and get it. Oh, it's left there. Can Jonathan Willen? He tails it. He tails it. It's right in the middle. Can he? No, he does. Jonathan Willen. How many goals has Jonathan Willen scored now? Is that his fifth? That's his sixth? That's his fifth goal. Seven to three. Jonathan Willen on fire. And you'd notice that seven plus three is ten. And at half time, we're going to have ten goals. So my over and under of 20 is looking correct right now. As the young ones line up, ready to just keep going. They're relentless, these young ones. The 30-second bell's about to go. The two bullets is fighting for it. They're over the top of it. Or oh, did the whistle go? I think the whistle must have gone. So we'll stop the clock with 23 seconds on it. And the umpires will show us what they were thinking. I guess uh, Charlie Bullis, the yellow number two, went over the top of the ball while his dad was trying to hit it. So it's a penalty against him. And I'm thinking it's going to be from the spot in favour of Newport. Can Newport possibly get a goal back before half-time? And Jimmy DeAngelis is going to take this. They need to score. They need some positive energy going on here. They took a three-goal lead, and now they haven't answered seven goals on the trot for the young ones. Jimmy sends a very strong shot up the field. Who gets onto the line? Oh, look at that. Sam Shaw just taps it away from Michelle just in time. And now Charlie Bullis takes it further away. And the whistle goes, and the clock stops with 13 seconds left to go. Don't forget, it's half time in a minute. Get your cold beers ready. Have a nice wander about the field, take your dogs over, do what you like, come and visit the Alex and Arnie booth and their positive energy bangles. Come and check out Rockport, check out their selection of shoes. Don't forget to put in your door entry form to win a pair of shoes today. And of course, Agnes's new clothing at the Polo Barn. It is gorgeous. That's where you put in your door entry form for today's door prize at the Polo Barn. And Agnes has got a new collection of clothes. She is like the fashion guru of Newport. Yves Saint Laurent, all those people, eat your hearts out. You need Agnes. Anyway, great clothing line out there. There's also food with Fatty Gatty if you're hungry. And, of course, a twisted pony if you're thirsty. So it's a 40-yard penalty, open goal for the old fellas. And Jimmy DeAngelis very calmly puts it through with a big sigh of relief. And they get within three goals, four goals to seven. And the seconds tick away and the second bell will go. And it is half time. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, please tread in or get yourself a, a drink, get your burgers going.